When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, right, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, but ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Yeah, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yes. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellie. Should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> when I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You 
You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying room's down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out of the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, but ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Yeah, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. I've done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to... God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> Take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know that house we've been renting now? I called over here last night. Told them I was going to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's, uh... Huh? Here, man. Kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapon stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing. Thank you. 
the smoke! Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Uh, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. Have you seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. Since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, Aaron was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgia says he'd keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high-low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Welcome back, baby.